Hello everyone. Today in the series of Dr. X's KOL interviews, we have with us Dr. Alan H. Davis, who is a professor of vascular surgery, a consultant surgeon, and the clinical director at Imperial Private Healthcare London, UK. He has won several awards and has over 800 publications. So let us take this opportunity to learn from this world pioneer in vascular surgery. Thank you, Dr. Davis, for giving us your valuable time. That's a pleasure. <laughs> So today's topic of discussion is ATTRACT trial. The ATTRACT trial was conducted in the United States and it is a randomized control trial that was, that was designed to look at the benefits of pharmacomechanical thrombolysis in the first line treatment of patients who presented with an acute DVT. The main aim being to reduce the incidence of the post-thrombotic syndrome. This was defined in the trial as the post-thrombotic syndrome using the Valalta scoring system, which subsequently ended up having seen the results of the trial as being a slight issue as to whether this was the most appropriate primary measure with respect to the trial. The initial results of the trial showed very clearly that there was no immediate benefit in the use of thrombolysis in these patients who presented with an acute DVT. If we were to look at the subgroup analysis, it is clear that those patients who were treated with a DVT in the aliofemoral segment only, that there probably was a, a trend with respect to benefit. Mm -hmm. For those patients who just had an occlusion of the femoropopliteal mm -hmm. segment, there probably actually was no benefit at all. Okay, That was basically the aim of the ATTRACT trial. If you look at the primary outcome of the ATTRACT trial as defined at the beginning of the trial, there was actually no overall benefit from the use of thrombolysis. Mm -hmm. However, if you look at some of the data with respect to those patients who one had disease in the aliofemoral segment, there was a trend to a benefit, mm -hmm. but also in those patients who had the disease, there was some benefit with respect to preventing severe to moderate post-thrombotic syndrome, but overall there was no difference with res respect to the whole group. Okay. So what do you think? Pharmacomechanical catheter-directed thrombolysis, can it be used for first-line therapy for managing PTS? I think there probably is a very small subgroup of patients whom this treatment is still of value. If we were to look not only at the results of the ATTRACT trial, the CARVA trial, and the CAVENT trial, none of them have, at two years have shown any benefit with respect to the diminution of the post-thrombotic syndrome by using thrombolysis. That is why many repeat a trial on the post-thrombotic syndrome because there are a number of areas in which the ATTRACT trial and maybe the CARVA trial could actually be improved. Okay. So were there any other restrictions behind not uh, enrollment of only poor anticoagulant responders? I don't think there was really much discussion about those as to whether they responded to anticoagulation because it was very much trying to get patients relatively early. And if you look at the ACCP recommendations and the NICE guidance recommendations, they all want patients to have treatment within at least 14 days of presentation. Mm -hmm. If you were to look at the subgroup data from the CARVA trial, you would actually see that patients who are treated within the first 72 hours tend to do better. Mm -hmm. So I think if you are going to offer patients thrombolysis, there's an overall feeling from the medical community that the sooner you can do it, the better the outcomes are likely to be. Sure, I guess that works out everywhere. The sooner you can do, the better outcomes yes. there are. <laughs> so would you like to comment on the extent of coagulation delivered during PCDT? I think if, if you look at the amount of anticoagulation, different people use slightly different regimens as to whether they're going to use IV heparin at the same time as using the lysis. I think the key thing is after you've used the lysis, that patients will need at least a minimum of three months of anticoagulation. Mm -hmm. And I think what is important with respect to the newer treatments, there is increasing evidence that the incidence of the post-thrombotic syndrome mm -hmm. with the use of DOAX is actually better than the standard use of low molecular weight heparin and warfarin due to the various issues with respect to bridging. Okay. So then how does PCDT fare in patients with iliofemoral DVT and femoral popliteal DVT? 
I think you, having seen now the results of the various trials that I've highlighted to you, all the evidence would suggest that really for the femoropopliteal segment, it probably is no longer a va valid treatment. But for the aliofemoral se segment, with the appropriate clinical symptomatology, mm -hmm. it probably still is a valid treatment. But what we have not yet ascertained is wh which are the mm -hmm. patient group that are going to benefit the most. Okay. So lastly, Dr. Davis, would you like to share any key message with the Dr. Excess community about the trial or about the well, conference? I, I think the, the key thing about the ATTRACT trial is that its critics would say that there wasn't the most appropriate outcome measure. Now, m m my own personal view is that the Velalta score is probably as good as you're going to get, mm -hmm. but you probably need to look at a lot of different outcomes. And one of the other criticisms is the length of follow-up of the ATTRACT trial, that really we need data at five or 10 years to see what is the actual benefit because the post-thrombotic syndrome can develop anything between five and 10 years mm -hmm. uh, after the primary event of the DVT. That was great, Dr. Davis. How are you finding the conference otherwise? The, the, this is the fifth or sixth Vicon meeting I, I've been to. The conference is very good. It's covering a very broad range of topics. It should undoubtedly be very informative and there are a cohort of world experts talking mm -hmm. on the various subjects and I'm delighted to be part of the faculty. Thank you so much Dr. Davis for your valuable insights and for educating us on interact trial. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.